Well, I must say, I am excited. If everything goes to plan, I'll be seal hunting in Captain Jack's Tickle tomorrow afternoon. Just getting the last little bit of gear together. I'm gonna clean up my 223 Ruger and make sure it takes my floating jigger. Uh, a lot safer, you know, if you can get a, your seal or duck using a floating jigger. tracks all down around Carl's house. Hernigan track. Carmigan tracks on down there, goes right up and under the bridge and over along there. <laughs> Wildlife is taking over here now. Well guys, I'm still going to hit up to the tickle there now and uh, look for a seal, but I had to drop in Williams Harbor first and have a little look around and lots of Parmigan and rabbit tracks around, I'll tell you. And, uh, just come down to work, I got a bit of codfish left in there, salt, heavy salt fish I got to get. And now I'm going to go down the, well, like most every time I'm here I always go through down the island. You know, a great view there back at the harbour and you get to see uh, how, how close the ice edge is in. This is Williams Harbour. And there's a nice little hole of water there in the run. There's a good chance there's seals in that. So I'm looking forward to uh, going up there and have a little look there now. Now that's what's uh, left at all fish flakes and uh, they used to be all along side down here and this is where they come in fall the year and spread their fish to dry and you see little piles of rocks there uh, for uh, for shores and stuff yeah just take a couple of video clips of this because another few years you know it's gonna be all gone uh, captain jack's tickle you know and uh, harvested a lot of seals out of here through the years uh, never seen near one here yet there is one over there on the ice i'm not really sure what kind of seal that is most we get here now is ring seals once in a while you'll get a harp here or even a bearded seal, but mostly ring seals. But uh, I'm not sure if that's a harp or what over there. I might have the spine, get to see what that is. Now uh, that over there looks like uh, there's one on the ice and two or three in the water. There's a small hole of water there, it's probably a bilimers. Uh, they can't keep a hole open like the jar seal, so as that hole of water closes up, if they can't get to another hole, then uh, it'll close up on them and then they'll just start crawling around. But uh, there's a good edge of ice going out towards it. So uh, I got a feeling I'll be over there to once. But I'm gonna wait here a little longer. See if we see a ring seal and then I don't see anything. I'm gonna go over there. Uh, looks pretty interesting to me. <laughs> well, yeah, at least tree there. At least tree. here a, a half hour now when nothing come back up there so it must have went on down to the other hole of water actually I see the seal down there now uh, I thought it kind of funny for trees and everybody to get her I thought they might be able to, to go that far but uh, obviously they did Those ring seals are probably stay here longer but since there was the bellimers and he went down there i don't expect him back so uh so i'm gonna move on here for now. and this right here is the cape tickle and i just down looking around see any other ducks around uh this is the first place i checked and that's a lovely spot uh, to see a few other ducks uh 
you know, if you shoot them there, you got lots of uh, time to be able to jig them. You can run along the sides there a bit too, so. But uh, never seen that one yet. Just keep looking, I guess. Well, I tell ya, you can get them stuck in some weird places sometimes. There's like a hard drift bank and he slid down that way and it's tracking up under a piece of ice like uh and jammed up there. I got it all cleared here from uh, the front as much as I could. I can't go no lower, there's a rock right there, huh? So the only way to do it now is clear a nice bit from this side. And I got a lot to clear from that side. We're gonna have to get her up on on her side one way or the other. You get some hard lumps of snow down under the track. Uh, I'm just going to take my time. I don't, I don't want to be sweating too hard. Uh, I'm a long way from home, and and not many people be zooming around this way. So uh, just got to take it easy here a little bit. Yeah, you know uh, this is going to take a while. I got to clear it so far there, but I got to get it right on it back there around. And you know when I'm chopping close to the track, I got to be really careful. And the way the rock is here, I might have to clear it and try to slide ahead this way to get clear of that rock. It's going to be hard for it to come up over that rock and I don't want to go too hard, be really rough on the track. And now i got a, a few lumps of ice there and uh, hopefully by, I guess a bit more snow here, I'll haul her back and get a few lumps of ice on the other side and hopefully she'll get enough traction from that. Uh, sometimes in, then when you're in the slob, you know, you get uh, trees and branches to go under your track. You need something to be able to, to give her some traction, uh, you know, she's slipping on that uh, all that slanted hair at least there. I tried her and she come a little bit so I tipped her back and got uh, some more ice there. I just uh, locked the brake there so she wouldn't slide back. So I tried to tip her back. She's not easy to tip back, the deck is all on one side but anyway, she come a little bit. This don't work, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Whew, I made quite the hole there. Oh, this is it right here. She was gone way down there. She was going down there pretty deep. It's all filled in there now. Oh, brutal. This here is Francis Harbor. Uh, this is the Hiscox on this place here. Just just look at that rabbit pet there. I've never seen a rabbit pet like that in a long time. There's a lot of rabbits in this little area. Most of I've ever seen here. And this right here is the community graveyard and uh, that's his grandparents graves right there and uh, heading out up to the tickle there for a little while then I hit run back and pour it open. I, uh, I lost a lot of time there you know when I was stuck <laughs> yeah it took a nice little while so, so we'll continue on We're here now because the tide is coming this way. So if I shoot Sarah Seal, he'll drift over towards me. And uh, good heavy ice edge coming lying there, but as well check you know the stick when it's coming lying there. Uh, you'd be awful careful around places like this because the tide is wicked. You fall overboard. I tell you, by getting out of it, it's going to be a problem. I'm soon uh, leaving here now. Uh, they never come up there in a little while, but. Uh, Next time I comes back here, I'm gonna have a bring up a tow up a little small boat, and uh, you know it doesn't matter where you're shooting to it in. But uh, yeah, it's too bad. I was looking forward to uh, a meal of seal, especially these ring seals. Oh, the liver's absolutely delicious. But, but that's it. Anyway, I gotta be, just because I come out on this, I still gotta be careful going back. Hold on. Just wants to get the ghost one up over there. Look at that. Be really still until he goes down again. I 
I guess I'll stay a little while longer. <laughs> yeah, getting nice again too now, so maybe they'll come, they'll all come back out. I was just over there. I said, come back as soon as I go. I'll leave the stick here and a seal come up uh, right off from where I was just to. But he probably heard the skidoo anyway, so that's what, because uh, they're a bit curious like, but anyway, I'll stay a little while longer, but nice and calm too now, but uh, I'm going back into Port Hope tonight, so I have another, I don't know, 21 miles or so, and I wanted to drop them to the cabin on the way along. So.